is set to officially commission over 30 fresh, freshly renovated state-of-the-art biomedical laboratories at the central laboratory complex of the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri. Moreover, Kenya also expects over 2 million Sinopharm doses from China and Pfizer jabs from the U.S. Irene Mwangi with more. The commissioning of those facilities is part of the government initiative at Kemri aimed at strengthening research capacity and in particular human resource and research infrastructure development in line with current and future challenges. With the help of the Department of Defense, the upgraded laboratories and the other critical strategic facilities such as the sample management and receiving facilities, two multi-purpose conference rooms, laboratory offices and connector building have been refurbished. We know we have had many challenges and uh, these challenges have been there. And, and, and these are challenges that uh, we wish to bring to an end. And these are not challenges brought about by you, who are the whole people who are working here, brought about by management. Yeah? Well, the immediate impact of the upgraded facilities are in the ongoing COVID-19 testing, including mass testing, sequencing, and drug medicinal research, research in the area of stem cell and regenerative medicine, malaria, among others, are also said to benefit. And I brought this army major here to see if he can, eh? He's a colonel. Okay, he's a colonel, which means he should even be more serious. Yeah? Uh, to, to, to sort out those issues, yeah? And to ensure that whatever resources are applied, be they local or international, go to where they are required. Not to funny, funny side deals. The Ministry of Health also said that Kenya is expecting over 2 million Sinopharm doses from China and Pfizer jabs from the U.S. The Ministry said that this will benefit the fight against COVID-19. Irene Mwangi, Look Up TV, Nairobi. Now, Kenya debt to GDP ratio has climbed to 68% of GDP. The controller 